Right, so for this project, um, basically the first thing you need obviously are the three force bulbs per small pot. Or if you want to size up, you can do it in odd numbers like five and seven. But obviously you need a bigger pot for that. Also you need the compost and grit mix, which is a two to one ratio. And that's where the bulbs are going to be planted in obviously. Um, you need some grit to top dress because um, you don't want the top to dry out too much and then to support the tender um, paper whites you need um, four large twigs um, three on the side one in the middle and three small ones in between make sure you don't hit any of the bulbs obviously not to bruise them and you have the optional moss to top dress on top of the grit and obviously if you want to bling it up a bit then you can put some wire lights some bubbles and a few ribbons um, so these are the twigs that I'll be using uh, you can get them from florists and um, also as you can see on the left side is where um, I planted uh, three bulbs in a small pot I've actually planted it in a plastic um, nursery pot and then just locked it in um, with um, gravel underneath a decorative pot. Yeah, so this is me, a uh, fast forward version of me doing um, the cutting of twigs because the paper whites go up to 450, so I measure up to 600. Um, also, wet the sticks so that you can easily bend it to form a, um, a structure, which I shall show you later. I tie the ends up, but leave a few um, stray ones sticking out the side, so it looks good. Right, so this is me placing the four main branches of um, 600 uh, mm in millimeters in length, and uh, they need to be placed um, three on the side of the pot, one in the middle, and the three smaller branches off cuts uh, in between the three ones outside. Make sure to miss the bulbs because you don't want to damage any of them when you place them in the pot. Right, so this is me um, gathering the three um, main branches outside towards the main one in the middle and tying it up, but leaving some of the um, um, outside branches free so that it looks good. Right, so as an option you can use uh, moss which is what I have here and I put it on top of the grit dressing so that it looks nicer, it looks a bit more finished um, and it looks more um, woodlandy which is what the uh, theme for uh, this Christmas is. Another option is to um, use a ribbon and tie it around the sides of the supports so that it looks nicer and more Christmassy. Right, so this is a gallery of what I've done. I've, I've put some lights and some decorations and baubles and stuff. Um, hope it inspires you. So that is how you make a paper white Christmas tree for the holidays. Uh, make sure to do it 
this weekend or two weekends before Christmas because otherwise there'll be flowers on there and it would be hard to put the twigs in. So happy crafting and enjoy the holiday. Bye! Hey.